So Odell Beckham Jr. wasn't even Ravens' primary option? I didn't know that. But like my guy Drew, he put it on Twitter. He said this is one of the first times when he's actually not irritated or upset from hearing about how the Ravens almost landed somebody. Because we used to hearing those a lot. And that's what I anticipated with Corlin Sutton, with Odell Beckham Jr., or with DeAndre Hopkins. I anticipated us hearing about it with whichever one of those three they would have went for. I thought that it was going to be one of those almost things, but, oh, the Ravens offered a competitive deal. But, but anyway, they actually landed Odell Beckham Jr., which was a beautiful thing. He had a wonderful press conference earlier today, and he is officially a Baltimore Raven. But as far as the almost, what almost was, Let's read it from The Athletic, from good old Jeff Zrebic. Uh, he said, still, the side stayed in touch. Earlier this offseason, the Ravens weren't prepared to make the financial commitment it was going to take to land Beckham. And the player was in no hurry to make a decision. So Ravens were like, look, man, Odell, we like you, but we ain't trying to spend that bread on you, man. We, we ain't. We are not trying to spend that bread on you, my friend. You cool. You, you could be good for us, but... I about all that but then continuing it says desperate for a quality veteran receiver the ravens explored trade and free agent possibilities and we know like as far as free agency slim pickings is very slim pickings some 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 people's out there but not very much anyway it says at one point there appeared to be a deal to be made for Cortland sutton but the Denver Broncos decided they didn't want to trade him. So Ravens had a deal in place to bring on Cortland Sutton. They were ready. Then the Broncos were like, ah, you know what? Like this time it's on the flip side. It's from another team. Oh, you know what? Nah, we changed our minds. We don't want to trade him anymore. No thanks, Baltimore. We'll keep our guy. But again, not mad. Not mad. Because the Ra I I'm so glad that the Ravens did not let this stop them. Because it seems like so many times before, if a deal didn't go through, if a deal wasn't made, then the Ravens would be like, all right, well, we tried. No other options. We're done. That's it. But not this year. Not this offseason. Tried to trade for Cortland Sutton. Attempted to make it happen. Didn't work out. Ravens said, okay, you know what? Instead of being done, let's pivot to somebody else. Let, let, let's, let's, let's go to Odell Beckham Jr. And the Ravens, like we keep talking about, the Ravens stepped all the way out there for Odell Beckham Jr. Because they were like, all right, so again, I, I got to liken it to when you're interested in somebody. The Ravens were like, all right, we were interested in Corlin Sutton. We, we went out there and we put our heart out there for Corlin Sutton. We wore our heart on our sleeves. We really tried, but he shot us down. A lot of people, when they get turned down, that, that can kill their whole vibe on looking for love. But the Ravens said, no, mm -mm, we're not done. We're going to keep on looking for love. And you know what? That next opportunity that presents itself, we're going to give them an offer that they just simply cannot refuse. Thus, they landed Odell Beckham Jr. And now they found their match. But hopefully, hopefully, and we're going to talk about this more in tomorrow's video, which is already done, by the way. But hopefully they are not done looking for more matches, especially at the wide receiver position. Love y'all. We out.